A note, I think the retirement party is this week for Mr. Mr. Vega, and uh, I, although have not worked as closely with Mr. Vega as some of my colleagues, I can tell you he has always been just top-notch, extraordinarily professional, and very knowledgeable. Uh, I, in fact, turn to him and say, can't you fix this fiscal debacle? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to retire. And he, he said... I don't know. This one's a big one. So, uh, so I, I just want to acknowledge that uh, the entire community has been well served by Mr. Vega, and we will miss him. And I wish him a, a fruitful, exciting, and adventuresome retirement, uh, Mr. Uh, Zimmerman. Yeah, Madam Chairman, I, I, I think I, in particular, should uh, make an acknowledgement here because uh, you know board members have limited ability to work with sort of line staff and the uh, you know the. the chain of command being what it is, we mostly work through the manager, we get to know people in the manager's office real well, and there are certain folks by the nature of their work come into contact with uh, the, uh, the board more than others, but uh, there are many people I know in the Department of Management and Finance who we depend on you know, tremendously for the work that especially we're going to do over the next couple of months, who we don't really get to fully appreciate. And uh, so I acknowledge that. But as it happens, there are some exceptions. And one of the exceptions is when you're the uh, representative to the Metro Board, you have to work directly with a couple of staff people. Um, and I've been doing that for some time. And you know, there's always somebody from the transportation uh, division. And there's somebody from DMF, because our relationship with Metro is a, very much a financial one. And uh, so for the last decade, I've depended very heavily on Gus Vega, who has been the person assigned to deal with all those financial issues uh, for Metro. Um, sometimes sometimes it, I feel like I'm their staff person. You know, They have to come and tell me what it is I need to do for the county on Thursday when we get on a Metro. And some of it is extremely technical, uh, and whether that's operationally or financially, as in the matters with which Mr. Vega has dealt. And so uh, he's been the person who has uh, schooled me in all these uh, various transactions involving things like Metro Matters and how we would finance the purchase of, of new rail cars and uh, making sure that Arlington's interests as one of the partners in this you know, big enterprise are protected, whether we're talking about dealing with our uh, you know, the other partner jurisdictions or the state or the federal government. And uh, so I, I'm in a position to say just how well served Arlington has been by uh, the work of, of Gus Vega. And, uh, and I you know, personally uh, uh, have not been, would not have been able to do the job that I've been doing without uh, that kind of assistance. And so I do want to take this opportunity, since a citizen raised it, and since uh, you, Madam Chairman, acknowledged it, to say that uh, I, I know we, uh, we really will miss Gus, and uh, he is an Arlingtonian, and uh, I've told him now that he's going to be a private citizen, we can find other ways to involve him, and we can get his expertise for free. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to do that after next week. Thank very, you, Madam Chairman. Very good, Mr. Zimmerman. Um, Mr. Pebley mentioned.